I have a riddle for thee, and the scholar who is wise enough to answer it shall go into my stable and take my finest steed. His name is Wing Jim. And my riddle is, what should one do with all that junk? All that junk that is inside of his trunk. Good luck to everyone. I'm sorry everyone, I lied. I don't have a stable or a steed or... Wing Jim doesn't even exist. So, uh, uh, I, I've, got, I've got over it, it's okay. I'm battling a guy called Zay Zay Pro Zay Zay? What the fuck is wrong with me? Z Z Productions? Z Z Productions? I don't know how you want to pronounce it. But he wanted a Yu Yu battle. And since um, you guys seem to want Yu Yu battles, I thought, yeah, go for it. And I played like a fucking dick at the beginning, and I really did want to bat my own fucking nutsack off. Anyway! So yeah, he sets up a rain dance on my toxic spikes. I'm like, can that surf kill? And it crits, and I checked, I actually did a damage calculation, and that crit did not matter whatsoever. So I go to my, um, Slow King Special Wall, and he goes for an energy ball, which will do quite a lot, but I'm just gonna slack off. Because that's just what I do, you know? And that's how I roll. And he's just getting life orb damage, and I'm wasting the rain. Now, I could have done that again, but I kind of predicted a switch. But like, I found a layer, the guy on Balan wasn't that great considering he asked me if all my IVs are at 31 and asked me whether I EV trained or not. But either way, he sets up the rain Ludicolo, energy balls are going down, he didn't switch, and I went for a T-Wave here. But I'm still going to be slower than him even with the T-Wave because he's got the rain up, and they nullify each other. And the next energy ball will kill me. So... I think I go into a pincer now. Oh, and for the one person that commented on my last question about um, Lomax's age and nationality, he's 18 years old and he's as white as they come. It's ridiculous how white he is. But yeah, energy balled my um, pincer and the rain stopped so I know I'm at, I'm, I'll outspeed him now because it's my banded pincer. And the next scissor was blatantly gonna fuck him up good. So I got rid of that. I'm not looking too great at the moment. I'm one. It's from five five, but he's like crippled two of my pokes. So Magus, I switch into um, Floatzel. I'm taste ten base speed faster. I'm like, okay, I'll kill it as long as it doesn't have T bolt. I'll kill it again. Motherfucker outspeeds me. I don't know if I've like EV'd it wrong accidentally or just because of the nature of the difference. But either way, he outspeeds me. And he's actually a life orb Magius. Like, I don't see a single lefties on his team, really. Like, I think there's like one, maybe. I think he liked the life orb a bit too much. So his life orb Magius is gonna take a lot of damage quickly with sub and life orb and things. And I just get an aqua jet off before I die. Because that's how I roll, it's no big deal. So yeah, and then Floatzel goes down. He's pretty shit, I'm not gonna lie. He gets crit out, obviously didn't matter. So then I go into my Scarf Town Doom, the god of that UU in my opinion. I use this in standard regularly and it buries. It fucking rips shit up. I'm not gonna joke. So Dark Pulse finish it off. Oh good times. He brings in a Blastoise, it gets poisoned, which is okay, I'm not too bothered. I'd have preferred toxic, but it's no big deal. But I'm and I'm also hoping my slow king can wall this all day, so I go into that. And he gets a spin off, which I think is quite silly on his part. I actually quite like my opponent to have one layer of toxic ups because it's single poison, and then like, no, first of all, not many things are affected by toxic spikes, and then second of all, now he can't be like hypnosis and what and toxic and will o wisp and shit. So like, I actually kind of prefer one layers, but he spins off. I'm gonna wall this guy all day, so I just slack off back to full health. Good times. And I'm packing the grass knot, so I'm just gonna go for that. I think. Uh, yeah, I know I do. I know I do, I must. And he goes into a Toxic Croak, and that will take nothing from the Grass Knot. So that's no problem. Um, and then I go to sleep because of the Yawn, and I let my thing go to sleep because I have Heal Bell on my um, Mill Tank, which will come out in a minute. So he misses the Gunk Shot there, so fair enough, I guess. That That's pretty uncool on his part. And then, um... So yeah, then I just whip off an overheating fucking berry, that kid. 
If that's got dry skin, which I assume it does, then that is going to get fucked good by an overheat. I probably should have flamethrower really because was, that was overkill. So in comes an Omastar. And I assume it's going to start setting up on me because that's what my Omastar does and I run all the best sets. It actually has hidden power, which I find out later is electric. So it's choice specs and I assume Swiss Swim. But like, obviously he's got no rain up, so it's not going to be that useful with base 55 speed. Now there's my physical wall and it just manned out like a fucking the gunk shot there. So yeah, he switches out into a Manetric while I put my rocks up. They weren't that useful really, but it's always good to have them up if you can help it, so why not? So I stay in here because I have nothing to take a um, Thunderbolt. And I just give the heal bell, assuming I can live at least one Thunderbolt. But he goes for a sub. Which worried me a little bit, but not too much, because I'm thinking I can still live one hit and at the very least break the sub with the body slam, so... He goes for a T-Ball as predicted. Well, as predicted, it was fucking obvious, and you'd be a tired not to expect that. And I just live it on a tiny little bit, and because he, he's life orbed again. Two subbers with life orb, both special. Ooh. I just realized this guy's quite a bad battler. I'm sorry, guys. I'll upload better pl be plays next time. So, yep, um, he goes for a T-Ball now to finish me off, and I'm all good, because at least I got rid of that sub. And I know he's got like a Blastoise and then Omastar and this left. So I'm just going for a hidden power ground because that'll fair everything. And I don't know if he predicted that or not, but he goes into the Blastoise and the hit. Like this must be a physical Blastoise or like maybe even an offensive one because it gets buried by this hidden power. So that, that's an easy 2 hit KO, especially after the poison. He does not stand a fucking chance. So that's good times. And like, Omastar's gonna come in a minute, and I know Omastar's are pussies, like, specially, but I'm so scared of it not missing, because, like, I have nothing to take that Minetri but this Houndoom, like, I'll lose. I'll lose to a guy this shit, and I just can't risk that, so. I think I go into my Slow King, which will be the case. And he actually gets a Hydro Pump miss here, which is quite unlucky. I'm, I'm actually hacking this guy over, but I don't think that won't matter all that much, because it's a special wall that's water, and you know how it is. So my next year comes in. I go for a Grass Knot? Oh, yeah, that was on the Switch, yeah. And I thought, like, I was going to slack off and just, like, keep doing that until, like, he life orbed himself to death, but I didn't think it would do so little. So I just surf him away in the end. The better play probably would have been to slack off twice. But never mind. So I just know he's got um, Omastar left, and I've got my Houndoom with Hidden Power Ground. And I have a Banded Pincer as well, so like, he really doesn't stand the fucking chance. It's a good game at this point. So I'm on half term this week, and I have like, my A2s, which is like, the most important exams of my life coming up, but... I'll still probably upload quite a lot because I'm a man like that. So he in Bowser Electric Slow King dies. And I come in and just hit power ground that now. So good game ZZ um, Productions. But I'm from um, England so I'll say ZZ Productions. Because that's the correct way to say it. And yeah. Good times all round. See you peeps on the yo side. Ciao ciao. But 